join verses together to sing and praise the Lord for using CGS number 700. Meanwhile, we just want to uh, extend our appreciation to the, um, the orchestra for great is the Lord and also praise ye the Father that we ha they have just rendered. And for those of you that are watching us on the internet, you are very welcome. This is the Apostolic Faith Church in the UK and um, number 95 Fenham Road here in Peckham. The address is on the website that you are watching us from. Um, you, if you are quite local, please feel free to come and worship with us today. Otherwise, we will have in the evening um, a prayer meeting from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock tonight. You can join us there and then if your time 
if you are not able to join us right now. But those of you that are still watching, we pray that the Lord will bless you as you continue and that uh, all that we are going to have today, it will be a blessing to each and every one of us. Amen. And Brother Delight will lead us in the songs this morning. God bless you. We'll take all the four verses after the introduction by the organist. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Turn to the back of the hymn book and we'll sing a chorus, hymn, chorus number 32. Number 32 in the same hymn book. I am ready for service for thee, dear Lord. Here am I, send me. May that be our declaration this morning. I am willing to be what you'd have me be. I will go where you want me to go. I am ready for service for thee, dear Lord. Here am I, send me. Though the pathway seems dark, for thee I will do or die. I'm ready for service, Lord. Chorus number 37. We are pressing toward the land of Canaan, just beyond the brink of Jordan's tide. We have left the worthless fair of Egypt with its bondage, sin, and pride. But the land we seek must be by conquest. Battles must be fought and victories won. Giants must be slain and armies overthrown. Till before us stands not one. Yes, we'll take the land together. We will stand. Amen. Courage, faith, and work our song for the land before us reaches to the skies. God commands us now, be strong.
252. 252. We'll take the first, the second, and the fourth verses while seated. The first, the second, and the fourth while seated. Once more, my soul, thy Savior, through the word, is offered full and free. And now, Lord, I must, I must decide, shall I accept of thee? One, two, and four while seated. Again, we'll sing all three verses while seated. Command thy blessing from above, O God, Amen. on all assembly, assembled here. Behold us with the Father's love while we look up with filial fear. Command thy blessing in this hour, Spirit Amen. of truth, and fill this place with humbling and with healing power, yes. with quickening and confirming grace. Yes. Amen.
Our song before prayer will be 167. 167 will we'll stand up for those of us that can, can stand, where we'll stand to sing the first verse and the chorus twice. We'll stand to sing the first verse and uh, uh, the chorus twice. Also, 167. The orchestra will join us for, uh, for that song. 167. Heavenly Father, we have come before you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you for your blood. All powerful blood that cleanseth all sins to those who are going to believe today. Lord, come down Amen. with your power. Amen. The power to deliver. Yes. Amen. We want to come out from Egypt. Amen. The Egypt of our sins. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, to, Amen. Can to Canaan, Lord. Yes. We want to live for you. Yes. We want to obey you. Yes. Lord, come and speak Amen. direct to our hearts. Amen. Bless your servant. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Amen. We thank you for the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you for the blood, Amen. the all-powerful blood, Amen. which is still cleansing. Yes. Even today, yes. even this morning, Amen. you are going to touch hearts. Amen. You are going to deliver. Amen. You are going to heal the sick. Amen. You are going to roll down our burdens. Thank you, Lord, Amen. for answering our prayer. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Amen. Come and bless us, Lord. Amen. As we shall come before the, these altars, be there for us, Lord. Amen. And answer our prayers. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray.
portion for this service is taken from Psalm 19 verses 1 to 6. Psalm 19 verses 1 to 6. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech and night unto night showeth knowledge. Three, there is no speech nor language 
where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Six and the last verse. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and a circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back. Cause I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus someday Join me everybody I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back, cause I want to see my Stay forever of his saving grace on the street of glory. Let me leave my voice, all my cares are past. Who at last ever to rejoice? Come by my bed.
what a blessed day. We really thank God for this season of prayer. We've been praying, and I'm sure God has heard all our prayers. And God is going to answer all our prayers. All to the glory of his name. Amen. His name will be lifted up. And the blessing will be ours. Um, for this service, I would have said, okay, let's go and pray. Because we have made a, a declaration. Amen. That's what I'm going to talk about. Declare and take your stand. Amen. Let's um, turn to the book of um, Joshua. Joshua, chapter 24. We read verses 14 and 15. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. That was um, the declaration that um, that man of God, Joshua, made. And um, there are some things we need to, some ingredients we're going to get from this verse, or these two verses we've read. We've been praying throughout this month. In fact, from the bit of December, we've been praying all along. That's not the beginning of our praying. We've been praying for so many years. That's true. And God has been answering all our prayers. Amen. Those we feel um, that he hasn't answered, he will answer every prayer. Amen. We need to be his people so that we can confidently go to him when, before we even say anything. God, who knows all about us, will send the necessary help when there is need for that. Here, um, Joshua is calling the people. He made this um, declaration before them, but he wanted to take them along. And I pray that all of us will go along Amen. as God um, would want us to. You have just made a declaration now that you've made your mind up. May God make that possible Amen. in our individual lives. Amen. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. If no one joins me, I will still want to follow. May God help us Amen. to stand on what we have just made. We've made a promise just like Joshua made here. After um, telling the people, well, to make a choice. My brother always says, um, it's a free world. 
which means you can make your choice. You live the way you want to live. But we want to live the way God wants us to live because that is how we will get blessings from him. Um, when Joshua threw this um, challenge to the people, you want to serve the gods that were on the other side, you will choose. But he made that declaration. He said, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. May that be our prayer. Amen. Our determination, our choice this day that we will serve the Lord our God, yeah. not only ourselves, with our families. Yeah. I pray that members of our family will uh, make this decision as well, Amen. to be able to go along with us. Amen. You don't want to leave them behind. Like uh, Moses told Pharaoh, said, we will all go. All of us, we won't leave anything, nothing. We want to leave the world alone and focus on Jesus Christ. And prepare, ask him to prepare our hearts, make us ready for his second coming. I've made my mind up. The people... Um, answer him. Verse 16 says, And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God, he, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us in all the way wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. They remembered that God has done great things among them. God had um, given them this great deliverance from Egypt. Joshua wasn't, um, was a man of experience. He was just not just talking at that point. He remembered what happened when they left Egypt. About three months when they left Egypt, just at um, the Mount Sinai, Jesus, I'm sorry, Joshua um, remembered that Moses called the people and told God asked Moses to come to uh, the mountain and gave him some words to get back to the children of Israel. And they made the same promise that they would save um, the law. Um, if you look at Exodus chapter 19, you can see that, let's read from verse 1, in the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai, for they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness and were there Israel camped before the mount. And Moses went up unto God. And the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Amen. 
and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Verse 7, And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord hath spoken we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. All that the Lord has said we will do. Joshua remembered that they made this promise sometime before. So he reminded them. God is reminding us today. I have brought you out from the Egypt of this land. I want you to be my people. I want you to remember all that I've brought you through. Through the um, prayer meetings we have been having, we, there seems to be a, one thread of um, thought. That is, we are no longer what we are supposed to be. We started very well. After the Lord had opened our eyes to this wonderful truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ, things were not like this before. We have come short of our commitment. We turn back on our consecration. We're not praying again as we used to. I remember in the um, early 80s, we'd be running up and down, doing things for the Lord. Maybe by then, things were not very well with us. We thought probably we could, um, we would find no other way other than to um, look for God. Um, it's been the nature of man that when things are hard, that is when we look for God. God is not an option. God is the source of every blessing. So we need to seek him all the time. If we seek him, we will find him. That's why he's calling us back to our consecration. That we will remain his people. We will serve him faithfully. Not only ourselves, with our families. I pray that um, the young people, the children, will make it possible for their parents to say like Joshua here. You say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. But when you look around, you see children are doing whatever they want to do. It's a free world. They are disobedient to parents. How can a parent stand up and say boldly, like Joshua said? You won't be able to say that. But may God help us. Amen. <laughs> that our children will embrace this gospel. For we have seen what this gospel has done for us. I don't know how many of you were um, well to do as you are today when we started this race. Things were not that rosy. But then we were holding on to God all the time. Every announced meeting, we were present. We did everything we were asked to do. But how about now? We are more relaxed. Sometimes we think, oh, they will do it. Who are they there? We want to join hands together yeah. once again. Amen. Just going to be back to better. 
at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Amen. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. Amen. It was there by faith. Amen. I received my sight. Amen. And now I'm happy all the way. Amen. Praise God for that. Amen. You've shown us the light. We could recall that, um, or we can know, uh, see that today, this world we are in, everything has been reversed. Darkness is substituted for light. Evil is um, substituted for good. Bitterness is substituted for sweetness, to borrow from the words of um, Prophet Isaiah. It is a twisted world where sins become rights, iniquities have become virtues, evil is considered as personal freedom. Everything has human rights. Any we touch on anything is human right. We claim rights here and there. We can talk about the twisting of uh, morals in this culture we are in, and the perversion of spiritual values, which were once held very dear. Things have been turned upside down. Nobody wants to talk about the things of God. You have, you have um, political correctness. Christmas, people who call themselves Christians sometime now, we don't have Christmas lights, we don't do anything about Christmas. Marriage, oh well, we would want to reestablish that to, to suit the hearts of men. And here we are, the people of God. Are we going to sit down like that? No. God is calling us back yeah, to realize where we are. We have to be sincere to ourselves. We thank God God has given us this time. And may God help us to make good use of it. Amen. This one month of prayer will not go in vain. Amen. God must do something for us. Yes. Somebody Send me something on WhatsApp. Said um, part of it says, "Prayer without action is a daydream, and action without prayer is a nightmare." Mm. You pray, keep on praying. You will shout, you pout, jump do anything. But we need action as well. Yes. The two go together. We pray, tell God so many things. We also have to listen and hear what he's going to say so that we will act on that. There are places you um, or people pray these days, say, Holy Ghost fire. It's a common saying, a really little thing, the Holy Ghost fire. And Satan is sitting down there watching. Do they really mean business? There's no Holy Ghost fire without holiness. No amount of 
shouting will avail us anything yes. if we are not holy. May God make us a holy people. Amen. Holy people of God. Amen. That's what God wants. At this same time, will you and I continue like this or are we um, really determined to ask for me and my house? We will serve the Lord. May God help us to do that. We we'll just pray. God will send us the old time fire. Amen. On these altars, we prayed and um, got results. We've prayed here. People have sent prayer requests. We've prayed here and um, God would go the, so many miles away out of this country and we will receive word back that God has answered that prayer. Amen. We want that back. Amen. That time, even before we call, you God will answer. Amen. Who doesn't like that? Who wouldn't want that? For you and your family, for your loved ones, far and near. We will, in that verse, uh, those two verses, Moses, I'm sorry, Joshua mentioned gods. What are these gods? Mentioned the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwelt. In this land we dwell, dwell now, there are gods. Yeah. We may not see stone and wood and anything set aside um, and worshipped, but there are so many things people worship these days. Think about it. He said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, do you love the Father? It's not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, none of the father of the world and the world passes away with the loss thereof but whosoever will do the will of God will live forever we want to live forever Amen. with the Lord but there are gods around what else do we worship other than God we will take this individually when we go to pray Ask God to help us to locate where these gods may be in our, in our lives, in our environment, everywhere. The world is just dangling so many things. Maybe thinking of wealth, fame, fashion, name it. But we will not take part in all this. We want God to help us to have the right focus. Amen. God first. Yes. You seek first the kingdom of God. And all these other things will be added that God sees fit to give to us. It's not how much we can struggle or we run. No. It's how much God wants to do for us. And he will do the best for us <laughs> if we will remain his people. Those idols, you can say, like um, Hosea said, said Ephraim will declare and see what God will do. What have I to do with idols? Anything we um, seem to focus so much value more than God. It's an idol. But here was there said, what more do we have to do with idols? May God remove all those idols. Yeah. We have to be sincere as I said. We know what those idols may be in our individual lives. 
where we will take them to God in prayer. We have to return to God. To return to where God would want us to be. And we will see the victories we will get from day to day. Trials will come. We will have challenges. It's in this world you have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. There's no other power around that will, or nobody who will say they can deliver us from all these challenges of life. They have to be there. Faith is the victory. Let's um, turn to Hosea. Hosea. There, chapter 14. <clears throat> Up Hosea, then we go to Joel. Hosea 14. Let's read from verse 1. <clears throat> o Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. Ashur shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. Ye are our gods. For in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. For I will heal the backsliding. I will love them freely. For mine anger is turned away from him. I will be as the dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spread. And his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, what have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thy fruit found. Who is wise? And he shall understand these things. Prudent, and he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the just shall walk in them. But these transgressors shall fall therein. In Psalm 19 that we read, the first verse talks about the heavens declare the glory of God. We are going to declare the glory of God. See the heavens. Ever since God fixed that. They are there. We can look and see the glory of God in all this That is how God wants us to be. When people see us, they know who we are. The people of God. The way we talk. Even from the way we think. The way we behave amongst people. At home, at, um, at work. At play, wherever we are. This, uh, has somebody asked you before? Probably they haven't. Um, well, which church do you go to? 
or ask something about your faith for merely seeing you. We want that radiance to be in you, to be in me, so that wherever we are, we want to be a light, yes. to see us as a light into the world, and in this world, that they may see that, good, that light in us and glorify our Father who is in heaven. That is what we want to do. We want to return to um, that point where that light will shine in us. Amen. I'm sure God is going to bless us today. Amen. Let us all rally around the altar of prayer and declare our stand. It doesn't have to be uh, much of talking. Like Daniel, he proposed in his heart that he will not defile himself. As we go on our knees, remind us those things that we want to overcome in order to redeclare really our stance for you. Help us, Father, and absorb us by your love. Let your, your wonderful mercies cover us, bless us, and help us. For we pray in Jesus' name.